Hello, Rome Mithril here once again, and it's time to begin our next project. But what could it be? What could it be? Yeah, yeah, you saw the video title, you know what's up. So welcome to Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. So like my previous Battle Network playthroughs, I'm going to be maining one version, in this case Team Colonel, and showing major differences on the other version, Team Proto Man. So let's get right to it. One thing I do want to mention is in test recordings I've done for this, there's been this weird thing where sometimes my voice kind of has a weird metallic ring to it, and I don't know why it's doing that. Like, I went back and did some more test recording from Adventures of Lalo since that didn't have the problem, and it wasn't happening there, so it's something about Visual Boy Advance right now, and I don't know what the deal is with that. So, hopefully it isn't too bad. If anybody has any suggestions, uh, feel free to reply with that. So, yeah, let's get right to the game. There was 19XDX. Cyber Society was almost completed. We've done what we can. Now it's up to the next generation to finish the research, yes? Our offspring will certainly complete what we've started. Yes, let us hope so. Years later in the 21st century, a network keeps society safe from all cyber threats. I mean, we've played the previous four games, so I'd kind of question just how safe it keeps us. Anyway, Wake up, Len! Come on, wake up! Len! Hmm, I'm trying to sleep. Len, you can't fall asleep now! You haven't finished your homework! Oh, some things never change. Oh, morning, Mega Man. Don't morning me, Len! Every time you start your homework, you fall asleep. Come on, Mega Man, it's better than falling asleep during class. I mean... Point. Len got the personal terminal. P.E.T. Hey, how about we jump on the net? That'll rev me up. Uh, okay, but just for a bit. Once we jack out, it's homework time, okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Jack it! Len, could you come here for a second? It's Mom. Wonder what's up. Coming, Mom. You have mail, Len. Press start to open the PET. Select email from the menu to check and read your mail. Dear Strongbad. Okay, so our new email is Net Battlers. This magazine with tips and info is designed to help Net Battlers get up to speed. In this issue, we've got three hot features. What's jacking in, edit folders, and using subchips. What's jacking in? Jacking in refers to sending your navi from your PET into the cyber world. You can jack into all sorts of machines. So keep an eye out for places to jack in. To jack in, stand in front of the machine and press the R button. Okay, young net battlers, do your best and enjoy your cyber world life. So we have two more topics. Edit folders. Learn to edit your chip folder. You can find battle chips scattered around the cyber world, but simply having them doesn't mean you can use them. Whenever you get a new battle chip, you have to make sure to put it in your chip folder. If you want to edit your chip folder, use your PET. Select the chip folder to open the editing screen, and while you're editing the folder, pressing start lets you sort the data. You can sort the battle chips in your pack and folders either by ID or alphabetically. It really helps in organizing your chips. Find battle chips by deleting viruses and opening mystery data on the cyber world. Also, you can buy battle chips at certain shops, as well as trade bug frags to get them. The more battle chips you get, the better a folder you can make for yourself. Okay, young net battlers, do your best and enjoy your cyber world life. One more. Using subchips. Know your subchips. In addition to battle chips, there are subchips. Subchips can't be used in battle, but they can recover HP make it easy to avoid viruses, and other things. The thing is, a subchip can only be used once. But don't worry, you can buy more at subchip shops on the net and in the real world. Just keep an eye out for them. Oh, and 
before I forget, let me tell you something. There are BBSs here and there on the cyber world. They're great places to get info, learn about new battle techniques, and all sorts of stuff. They can be really useful places, so check them out. Okay, young Nat Battlers, do your best and enjoy your cyber world life. Alright. Also, Wizdog is up there. He's still adorable. Len, could you run an errand for me? I'm tied up at the moment. Sure, Mom. Really? Thank you. Could you please deliver this to my friends, Navi? And we get a stew recipe. Delicious. Where's your friends, Navi? She's in the kitchen comp. You can access the kitchen comp from ACDC area, too. Gotcha. Let's go, Mega Man. Okay. Press the R button in front of your computer to send me to Cyber World. You got it. Time to jack in. Thank you, dear. So, off we go. Jack in. Mega Man, execute. But of course... Uh-oh. Tutorial fight! Tutorial fight! Len, viruses are invading your webpage. Okay, Mega Man, let's warm up with some virus busting. Right, you operate, I bust. Er, you're not too sleepy to bust viruses, are you? Are you kidding? Let's roll. Really? Okay then, let's do it. Battle routine set. Execute. So, time for the standard Battle Network tutorials. Len, let's try some virus busting. Up right away. Leave it to me. Let's go, Mega Man. Um, to battle viruses, first I send chip data to Mega Man. Then I can select battle chips in this custom window. Here are the chips I can select. Hmm, any good ones? The chips in the folder I've equipped are shown here. I see the selected chips data here. This is its attack. I'm ready now. Now this is crucial. Here's the virus's HP or hit points. HP shows how much damage it can take. Gotta remember that. Got it, Len? You can only send data for one chip per turn. Unless it's data from the same type of chip. We have two cannons, so select them both. That's a no-brainer. I got it down. The A button selects the chip to send. The R button shows the info about the chip. And the L button is for escaping. But this is no time to run away. I better send chip data to Mega Man. After the two cannons, I can select one more chip. That's not quite right. Now that I've selected chip data, I just select OK. Here we go, Mega Man. Mega Man, I sent the chip data. Time to start virus busting. Len, operate away. I can move up or down and right and left on the battlefield. Fire the Mega Buster with the B button. It's weak, but fast. Hold it down longer for a charge shot. Remember that. Here are my HP. I'll be deleted if they reach zero. The chip data you just send is shown above my head. Use it with the A button, but each one can only be used once. If a virus remains even after you used all your chips... I know, I know. The cusp gauge, right? The cusp gauge gradually rises over time. Once it's full, I can access the custom screen again with the L and R button. I got the battle basics down pat. But enough already. Let's bust a virus. So this game also does have the whole counter system. I'm sure they'll tell us about that soon enough, though. Oh yeah! Len, more coming! And now the lesson that forces you to take two turns. Len, now let's use both support and weapon chips in our attack. Area grab you see there gives me more room to move around. Using area grab with wide sword is a very effective strategy. Oh, you can only select the same type of chips together. Come on, Len, you forget already? Take a look at this. Whoops, I completely forgot. These letters are a chip code. Different types of chips can be selected together as long as they have the same code. This is the kid that saved the world from the World 3 and Nebula several times over. Let's see, Area Grab and Wide Sword have the same code, so I can select them together. The chips with an asterisk are like wildcards. I can select them with any other code. I'll try it with S since there's no asterisk. 
Attack with area grab and white sword. Yeah, area grab. Okay, now use white sword. Okay, now I just select okay to send the data to Mega Man. Mega Man, I sent the data. Let's score a combo. Okay, time for a combo. By using area grab with the A button, part of the virus's area will become ours to use. Now we can move up and use wide sword. This is a powerful attack, but remember, I have to get close to a virus to strike it. Let's give it a try. So, area grab. Didn't quite get the counter there. Not that it matters since we don't have any other chips to follow up with. Hooray! Okay, just one left. Let's do it, Mega Man. Len! Do remember counter and full synchro? I don't know, do? Huh? What's that? Well, take a look at the emotion window here. It shows my emotional state. By looking here, you can tell how well you're operating me. At first, I'll be calm, but if I keep taking damage, I'll obviously start getting anxious. Conversely, operate me well so our souls connect, and I'll go full synchro, a state where you and I act as one. This improves my focus. How do I operate you well? You have to counter. Counter? Uh, what was that again? Counter means using a chip to attack right when the enemy is about to attack. They'll be caught off guard and won't be able to move for a bit. I get it, it surprises them. When full synchro, the next chip attack is times two one time, and the enemy will flash to show when you should counter. Thus, you can use times two attack chips over again if you score multiple counters. Okay, this is a good opportunity to get some practice. Since this is just practice, we'll start in full synchro. Here's a chip attack when the enemy flashes. So we have Vulcan, that's gonna make things go quicker. And we can choose both air shots. There we go. Well done, Len. Don't try to counter every time, but if you can master it, I think you'll find it very effective. Still, it won't work with chips that stop time like area grab. Remember to use the right chip at the right time. Roger, I'm gonna go master counter and full synchro. All right. Excellent, nice work, Len. Nice work, Mega Man. Okay, now let's run that errand for Mom. She said the kitchen comp is an ACDC area too. Let's head out. Roger.